Hello folks, my name is Luis Iberrocal and I'm going to be showing you a small tutorial on how to create polygon features using our map 10.6. If you'd like to follow along the tutorial, you can download the data from bit.ly slash Luis Iberrocal underscore polygons. If you like this video or others I've posted, I would really appreciate if you consider uh, subscribing to my channel. Thank you. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a tank feature class in order to digitize uh, these tanks that you see here. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to catalog uh, and we're going to create a new feature uh, in the feature in the file your database uh, that I'm working with. So I'm going to click here, say new feature class. I'm going to name it tanks. I'm going to leave the alias blank. It's a polygon feature. I'm going to click on next. I'm going to select uh, my uh, datum, which is WGS84, UTM zone 17. I'm going to click next. I'm going to keep the default tolerance, the default keyword, and I'm going to add four attributes. Well, I just click here and I material, which is what uh, I'm going to leave, leave it in text and leave these field properties by default. I'm going to put content, it's also going to be text. Oh, oops, I to type content so I change that now I'm going to do in service service notice I and I'm going to use um, short integer because I'm going to be using one if it's in service and zero if it's not I'm going to put code I'm going to use text and I'm going to keep the field properties as default and that's about it. All I have to do now is click here and finish. And you can see here, tanks has been added. Now I'm going to add it to my map by dragging it into my table of contents. There we go. Now we're going to find our uh, editor toolbar. We're going to click here and start our editing session, start editing. Then we're going to select what we're going to start editing. We're going to edit tanks, we'll click OK. And now I'm going to click on create features. Once I select create features, I'm going to select tanks. And down here on construction tools, I'll move this up a little bit, I'm going to select circle. What I'm trying to try to do is I'm going to click on the center of the circle and start and then click on the border. Click on the center and then the border. If I make a mistake, for example, if I don't like this, all I have to do is press delete and I'll delete it and I can uh, edit it again. I finished uh, digitizing all my tanks. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, on, on the editor toolbar, I'm going to do save edits. And now I'm going to uh, build a building polygon. And I'm going to choose the rectangle tool. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Okay, that one, that one wrong. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna digitize this. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna show you what happens if I use a polygon tool. I'm gonna go like this, click, 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 and then I do finish sketch. 
But now my parlor in my house, this building is not actually a, a rectangle. You see, the, the angle is slightly off. So in order to do this properly, I'm going to use the construct the rectangle construction tool. So I'm going to delete this and choose rectangle. I'm going to choose one side, choose this side, and then I'm going to drag it all along. As you can see, it will let me adjust. Click, and now as you can see, my building has 90 degrees on each of its uh, angles. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to use the autocomplete polygon. For example, let's say that this building here has an adjacent building. Now I can use snapping to build to build the the adjacent building. But there's an easier way. All I have to do here is click the autocomplete polygon. I start here. I go this way. And let's do it a little bit more interesting. Even though this is not the real, I'm going to click here. And then I'm going to click in the middle, on the edge. Click. And I'm going to say finish part. Finish sketch, I'm sorry. And now as you can see, it found where the two buildings intersected and it created the whole polygon based on that. So when it's a very complex uh, feature, this is the easiest way to do. Now I'm going to show you how to quickly attribute the tanks we already had uh, digitized. Now I know these tanks here in this area are all made of concrete, so um, I'm going to select them. I click on Shift and I shift and I click on them. Okay. Now I'm gonna right click here and say open attribute tables. And I'm on material, I'm gonna right click and do fill calculator. And I'm gonna type here between quotes concrete. Okay. Now I'm going to switch selections in order to select to select the the, the other um, tanks by clicking on switch selection. Now I'm going to right click here, do field calculator, and go with metal. OK. And I can do this with any other attributes. This is a very fast way when you know the attributes to select them and just update uh, their attributes. Uh, now I'm going to do Save Edits, Stop Editing, and now I'm, my data has been saved. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you like them, please subscribe and let me know if there's any other subject you would like me to do a video on. Thank you very much.